good morning. We're so glad you're here with Daily Vlog. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. 8.15 on a Saturday. James decided to wake up at 6.30 in the morning. Um, so I've been up with him. We did a minor breakfast. Outfit changes. We've got Miss Rachel playing. We've got a cup of Joe. Pot of Joe. Sarah and Teddy are still snoozing. I thought we'd sleep in more. But I've been enjoying my, my Jamesy time. It's a good start to our Saturday. So happy that you're here. We at Daily Vlogs, if you like this come back tomorrow. I'm about to hop on the Peloton for the first time in a few days. I know it's gonna make me feel good. I'm telling myself this again. It's going to make me feel good. I also just found out that Peter already introed. So I'll probably have to leave that in. Otherwise it might get cut, like cutting it would look weird. Um, but that is a tall tell sign that he's been awake and I've been asleep. He did not wake me up when he got up with James this morning, which I'm so appreciative of that I got some extra sleep because I have not been getting good sleep lately. Teddy had a really good night's sleep last night. I did use a sleep sack that we've had that's a sleep sack with a swaddle. So maybe that a little bit of tightness helped him, um, or figuring it out. A new day I need to not avoid getting on this any longer so I'll see you on the other side alrighty I'm gonna do a 30 minute pop punk ride with Kendall I totally just started one that was in German I am like <laughs> I'm not with it today um, but you guys had told me that you can like view the full playlist um, so that is that's awesome. So now I'm excited. Alrighty, now I'm gonna start. Oh my gosh. Look who is awake. He's got a clean diaper, clean outfit, fresh, fresh fit for the day. Um, Sarah's Peloton right now, and then James and I are gonna go for a run. Well, I'm gonna go for a run. James is coming with me, pushing the stroller. Um, it's having a nice, easy start to the day, but still like moving and productive getting up whenever we feel like getting up and then like making sure we do things like working out for our health making sure our babies have clean bones and are happy ah, ooh. <laughs> ah, ooh, my teddy sarah's done with the peloton so now it's mine and james's turn to head out and get some exercising done Okay. I just did a 5k this morning with Jamesy. Look how gorgeous it is. Got paddleboarders out. Skyline, not too many clouds, cool breeze off the lake. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Festival of the Arts will the Lakeview Arts Festival. Starting any minute now. We're gonna go to that later today. It's where we got the big Chicago painting in our living room last year when we came back from Disney World. So looking forward to see what's there this year. This wasn't intended for a nap. James is just sitting up observing the world. James, you look at the geese. You see them? Wow. Nice geese. Got some boats near and far. Just fabulous day on Lake Michigan. Whoa, oh, oh. Jamesy just woke up. Oh no. Teddy's snoozing. I just got the vlog live. We've got <laughs> Gutsy on, which is Hillary Clinton's new show with her daughter. Chelsea. With her daughter, Chelsea. I, I'll, I'll take out, I just captured puke. <laughs> Amy Poehler is 
is on and she's sharing. Oh, you can just hear it. I can't. <laughs> she's talking about her, um, her experience with endometriosis and her pregnancy and all that, but also, I don't know, this, this show is covering all sorts of topics. It's cool. This one in particular is comedy. Um, and they've had a ton of people on it. So this is cool. It's our first episode we're watching and it's great so far. Whoa, baby. <laughs> Hanging out with Teddy and James. Teddy's being extra cute. We had the Ballingers on because James had a little tumble off of the couch and we were goofing around. And he loves watching them, so he's relaxing, taking a breather. Hi, sweet baby. Hi. Teddy, go, ah. Ooh. You got lunch? Before we go to the art festival? Yeah. Some uh, tofuti cream cheese on crackers. Ooh. And this is the start of James's pot stickers. Nice. Did you say he fell off the couch? I did. I did. <laughs> What's that face for? You got some cream cheese on your finger? All right, so we got a pot sticker for James and then some crackers with some cream cheese and this like um, balsamic onion glaze. What? What do you want? Do you need help? Oh, you need help? You want to bite, bite, bite? Oh, nice. Did you just, you just ate that whole piece? Nice. What's wrong with my teddy? The teddy on the TV is turning one. You're such a little baby compared to that teddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Sarah just came out the rest of the pot stickers. They look delicious. James needed a bite of like the actual big piece of cracker with balsamic onion, not one of the little scraps that you cut off for him. Is it good? Yeah. I mean, I didn't have it. He said it was good. <laughs> That's right, it's Teddy's first birthday on the TV. That's Teddy Ballinger. Not Teddy Brookhart. You're not one. Not yet. You're a big kid, though. Yeah. <laughs> we put on old Fab 5207 vlogs. Daisy! Mommy and Daddy on the TV? All right, I got my boys in the stroller. We're waiting for Mom to come out. She's just finishing up her mascara. And they'll lock up the apartment, and then we're off to the Festival of the Arts. Alrighty, we're headed to the festival. James is all excited. I don't know what he sees. I think he hears the music. What? There's an octopus in there. <laughs> This thing looks like shipwreck, like underwater. I think there's like a crack in the water. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, so, so Jamesy. Eh, he seemed better. So there is a kid zone at the school. It's awesome. It's almost dream tree shaker cinema. Ooh. That is so nice. Oh, James is loving the playground. But I think 
think a good choice. Yeah. Nine bucks for all of this. Okay. This strawberry. Ooh, compare that to like any Epcot festival. This is nine bucks. And there's already been like three or four hot hot dogs. Donuts <laughs> eaten. <laughs> oh yeah. He so badly wants to eat the whole thing. <laughs> There's like a Brazilian bowl tent right there that I really kind of want to get one of the skewers. skewers yeah. They just have like a straight up grill. Yeah, I'm gonna go check out the pricing. I'll be right back. And here's the menu for Brazilian bowl. Looks very good. If we don't get it now, we'll get it later. It's not on the map, it's what you carry with you. Beef kebab. They put, they like spun it in some kind of powder. So good. We also got a cheese empanada. I don't know if Sarah said that. Looking delicious. I kind of want the lobster mac and cheese later. I made a hankering for a kebab. Was it good? We're just walking Broadway, enjoying all the food, the kebab, the donuts, the kids being awake. This is like the perfect day for this happen. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's not sunny, it's not sweaty out, it's not cold. Just enough clouds. Yeah. Glorious. Enjoying it. The plan is to like come enjoy it right now and then go home for dinner and relax and then come back maybe later on. There's a guy playing like all acoustic Beatles covers later yeah, I tonight. Yeah, I want to that. Yeah. Which stage? I, well, we'll bigger. double check but I think it's main stage. Okay, all Sarah wants from Compass Real Estate is the charcuterie board. So she's gonna spin the wheel for a charcuterie. I was getting nervous of which way do you spin the wheel, like this spin way or this way, and down. that's called anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <gasps> too far, too far. Ayo. No charcuterie board, bummer. He's my daddy. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 The street is closed, so we're Street's walking closed. in it. Closed. Me and Teddy are on a slide, or me and Teddy are on a swing. We stopped at the park on the way home because we thought that wasn't the most Jamesy centric event we just went to. So why not, if we're gonna walk past the park, why not just dip in for a little bit? Have him run around, exert some energy, play with some sand, play on some slides, some ladders, some toys. And Teddy's awake too. This is like what I think Chicago is the best city for, is like these kinds of things, like just simple little walks in our neighborhood to wonderful, wonderful events. And then things like stopping at the park on the way to your home. Uh, the downside, you can only do that for like s less than six months out of the year because of the winter. Uh, but the, the good part is, I feel like there's no other city that doesn't like Chicago when it comes to street festivals and events and cultural significance like like these things oh gosh do you like the swing or no <laughs> i could hear him laughing all across the park is it so fun thought he was done with the swing <laughs> oh gosh bye bye <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Woo! <laughs> 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 oh gosh, Daddy, did you get clavered? <laughs> <laughs> this is Teddy's Teddy watching. Daddy pushed James so high. <laughs> is it so funny? <laughs> 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 hey, we made it back home to have dinner. We're gonna go back out for the Beatles cover artist. Alrighty, I'm making burrito bowls for dinner. I chopped up some potatoes and got the air fryer all heated up. Put some oil on them. You gonna help me? Throw on this steak and meat seasoning. Probably some cumin, maybe some garlic, salt and pepper. Um, but this is gonna be like the meat of our bowls. We also have some fajita peppers going. I like to throw in some veggie broth, just to, I really like to get them nice and juicy. 
So some oil, veggie broth. That has enough salt in it, so I don't add any more salt. Pepper and lime juice and oregano. These are like a Chipotle, like copycat recipe. <laughs> Alrighty, here are our bowls. I honestly don't even know the last thing I said. Yay! Because <laughs> Teddy needed dinner first. So there's rice in there, the potatoes, fajita peppers, the bean and tomato salad from yesterday, salsa, sour cream. James and his emotional support water bottle. So we, we actually made it out. The kids are in the pajamas. We were trying to get ourselves in pajamas, but we didn't get that in time. Because we're trying to see the nine o'clock main stage performer, which is creepy because if you look, like all of the like artist tents closed at what, seven? Yeah, and it was like so hustle and bustle today. Like our big stroller was kind of a pain and like there's so many people, but now like the street's still closed down. But all the tents are closed. It's like a world showcase for you. Right. But it's getting louder because like I think the I wonder if the the beer tent is still selling. Maybe. Because there's one right next to the stage. Like we this is like spans like what do you say, three blocks? Yeah. About three blocks. And so like the first two and a half blocks are like just artists, which are now closed. That last half block is by the main stage, which is yeah. an acoustic gentleman who plays Beatles music. Beatles covers acoustically, yeah. I think is the proper way to say that. Yeah. That's what we're headed to, and I mean, we'll hang out as long as we last. Hopefully the kids fall asleep. Do you see this? This eeriness, but like there's also not eeriness because like the the like restaurants the and normal, bars and clubs like, are like obviously. really bumping yeah. behind all the tents, but like looking at this, this is just like, ooh, Mufasa, ooh. Uh, oh, it's little purple for the queen. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in. There it is, you can see it better there with just that little bit of zoom in. Sears Tower. All right, we found people. There's the main stage. I don't know how close we're gonna get, but the performer's getting ready to hop on. And the beer tent is open. And possibly Brazilian Bowl. James says he's all done and the show hasn't even started. <laughs> It's a pleasure to be here at Broadway and Belmont. Oh, when your mom and dad let you stay up late on a Saturday night in your jammies and you find snacks in the backpack. <laughs> They're just like a good jam band. They just hit a BB King. Where did you hear What? Where did you hear the Beatles thing? I looked up the guy's name and he made a Beatles cover album, so I thought it was gonna be Beatles. But they start opening up with BB King. Still a good band. It's not what we were expecting. <laughs> Got some, some Chicago blues history coming up on here. Mr. 43rd Street. Ooh. It's a weekend. You got a trough of food? <laughs> we got the blues playing. This is fun. I think we're old. I think we're officially old. It's 10 30 on a saturday technically a three-day weekend because i'm taking monday off of work because we have a funeral to go to i think sarah mentioned at the end of yesterday's vlog we had a, a beloved family member pass away um james fell asleep on the walk back from the festivities sarah's putting teddy down right now i put the stroller away i switched the laundry um, i have a, my long run tomorrow morning so i was like trying to get my stuff situated for that i got a 15 mile run in the morning we're not doing any fundraising extravaganza, so I kind of feel like a little lonely. 
I'm gonna go out and do this run alone. Like when we do those little like fundraising events where like you sponsor mile markers and stuff like that, I, I feel like the whole time I'm like with you guys, like you guys are with me during the runs, helps me get across the finish line, like helps me get to the next mile and the next mile, the next mile. Um, but tomorrow it's just gonna be me and my headset. So um, it'll still be good. Like I enjoy those runs. It's supposed to rain. So the idea is to get up early and get out before the rain. Or at least like if I get caught in the rain, it'll be like 50, 60% through the run already. Um, anyway, great Saturday. It was like relaxing, but still full of events. I just, and I had a moment today, like on the swings, Teddy on my lap. I could like feel in my fingers, his laughter. I could hear it obviously, but like I felt the vibrations of his laughter, his cackle in my fingertips as I'm watching, as we're swinging on this beautiful Chicago day, watching Sarah walk around the park with Teddy or with James in, a, in like a, a wagon. Him laughing, having a great time. Sarah like playing train station, like going to different stops. And I was just like, this is, this is what I've wanted in my whole life. I don't know, like, outside of having those moments with, like, future children, if we're so blessed to have more children, that, like, that is the pinnacle of my life. Like, there will be no other moment like that before, there'll be no moment like that after. Things like that. And I just, like, I'm glad I have that appreciation now for it, and I can think of that, and I can look back, just like I look back at my wedding day every single day, I think about my wedding at least once a day. Like I, it was one of the greatest days of my life. So that happened to the, the park, so that was kind of cool. I'm glad that happened, it was a lot of fun. I think my children are adorable. And I married my best friend, so that's pretty cool. So anyway, it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.